Today's video is a request on how to play the Come Together keyboard solo on a guitar. The Come Together keyboard solo is all fourths, and so that means if you're looking at it on a piano, the inversion you're playing is always going to stay the same shape, and that's the same on a guitar too. Before. So the notes you're going to be doing, the top note is an F and the bottom note is a C. Just like this. Then you're playing an A and a D, and a G and a C. Or... And when you're playing this, you want to make sure that you're playing it staccato, that's the way it is on the keyboard. So every time you play it, you have to mute the strings. The riff starts on the and of one, so that means if you're going three and four and one, da 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 da, it does that three times, and then the fourth time it starts on the E. So three E and a four E and a one. So you have one extra note from the previous three times. And then I cut off that last one to get ready to do the guitar solo. I usually flip up the pickup to a darker tone. And as a George, I normally do the top note. The John just does the same thing one fourth lower. So this whole part is also fourths. Just like that, all harmonized. And then the John part. And then the keyboard part that comes right after this guitar solo, I think it's easiest to play on the D and G string, starting with the 12th and 10th fret. So you can play the open D on the 1. And then slide that minor 3rd shape down a minor 3rd, 3 and 4 and... So by playing it on the D and G string, you can have the G string ring over the D string when you play that open note, like this. Keep it, keep that G string ringing. The whole time. So coming out of that solo, you'll have to cut something off again. You could probably play... You could probably cut off that open D string and go from the high note straight into that riff. Four. So if you have another guitar player, they could keep holding out that note over top of you switching to the keyboard part. And for this video, I think that's all we needed to go over. I might make a longer video in the future where I go over all the guitar parts for the main channel. So thanks for this video request and keep rocking.